In this Python tutorial, we will make two GUI applications with image elements using the PY Simple GUI library. In the first application, we will learn how to add an image to the window. In the second application, we will select a photo with browse. By clicking the load button, we will display the selected image in the window. We will do projects together again. In the video I will show you how to do it step by step. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. So let's start. First, I will transfer the PY Simple GUI library. You can transfer the library using this code. I import the library. I am creating an object list. I add the image object to the list. I will use the image in the project as the file name. You can use any image. I also add the exit button to the list. You can access this image from the GitHub link in the description of the video. This is the image I will add to the window. I create a variable for the window. I send the title and layout list to the window function. I create an infinite while loop with true. I will create two variables named event and values. I synchronize the variables with the read function. Using these variables, I determine the operations to be performed in the application. For example, when the X button is pressed, the event variable becomes equal to win closed. Or if the button is pressed, the event variable is exit. If the X or exit button is pressed, I will end the while loop with the break command. Finally, I close the window. I created a desktop window with an image element and a button. Let's try adding a different image. I will add this image to the desktop window. When you press the exit button, the window closes. In this example, we learned how to add images to the GUI window. Now let's do the second example. I need some libraries to make the second example. I import IO, OS and image libraries. I delete the file name variable. Because instead of using a fixed image, I will show the image selected by the user in the window. I delete the exit button. I will create a text object. I added the text object to the window. I am creating an input object. I added the input object to the window. I add the file browse button to the layout list. I added the file browse button to the window. The path of the file I selected is shown in the input object. The image I choose will be added to the window when the load button is clicked. I am creating a button for load. I added the button to the window. I need to access objects in the window. I define keys to access objects. I will access the image and input objects using these keys. If the load image button is clicked, I save the path of the selected file to a variable. I can understand whether a file actually exists in the path of the input object with the exists function. 
If there is a file, I save the image object to a variable using the open function. I change the size of the image using the thumbnail function. I save the image bytes to a variable using the bytes function. I send the image bytes and format value to the save function. I can see the image bytes on the console screen by using the getValue function. I will update the image element. I synchronize the data value with the image byte value. Now let's test the application. These are the images I will load. I select an image by clicking the Browse button. By clicking the Load button, I add the image I chose to the window. But there is a problem. I forgot to add parentheses in the thumbnail function. I'm trying again. I select an image by clicking the Browse button. By clicking the Load button, I add the image I chose to the window. We can also try the other image. In the next video, we will design a GUI application related to QR code. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video.